inside this class we are going to discuss about animation and this is the first animation that we are going to discuss inside this class open your code editor and i have just saved this page by giving the name first hyphen animation dot html so i'm just going to create a div and just a class or you can just say without class you can just select the div element also the div and you can say this curly braces so the first thing i want to just set the height or width to 150 by 150 pixel height also 150 px and the background you can just say something like gray color and the border you can say one pixel solid red yes red border and the margin you can just say zero to auto and center and what else you have just set the background the border the margin and we can just set the animation name animation dash name you can just write here you can give any name for your animation so this the attribute animation dash name you can give any name like test you can say example you can say your name any name you want you can assign i'm just saying a test and animation dash duration uh, just you can set in timing for example five second or you can just say four second one second and after this now you can save go to your web page and refresh so you can see there is nothing uh, happened now i want to just uh, after this curly braces after this one it is just open here and closed here after this you can enter and at the rate keyframes so these keyframes will enable your animation so you need to use this after that the name of your animation that you have just set it here test and test so open these two curly braces inside this you are going to say on the zero percent what should happen you can just say on the something let's say on the 50 percent what happened 50 percent you can say just on 75 percent uh, just percent and on 100 percent what happened so i'm just saying here at uh, the width is just 150 and the height is 150 pixel also on zero percent i want to just set the width should be something let's say just to uh 100 percent you can say or you can say just on 150 pixel is okay or you can say just 25 percent should be the width on zero percent on 50 percent i'm just saying the width of this attribute should be just let's make it 50 percent and on 75 percent the width you need to write width should be 75 percent and on 100 percent i need to just set the width to 100 percent it means full width you can save and the time of animation is four seconds we have set it here control s and refresh now you can see it is just happening inside four seconds so you can see inside the zero percent the width is 25 50 75 and 100 percent you can just see here after refreshing the page you can focus on this just box now you can see it's just happening four times one two three and four just inside four seconds you can just use multiple property here for example you can use the height property for example the height should be something like 300 pixel and the background should be something like blue in the 50 percent you can save and refresh now you can see it's just working perfectly you can just set here on the 75 percent for example you can say the border should be 
uh, 10 pixel solid or you can say dot it dot it orange border on the 75 percent now we can see it is just on 75 percent it is just working perfectly let's just give another background color for example something like or you can just remove this because we don't need for this we have just tested this you can save and refresh now you can see it is working perfectly so this is just the first animation we will discuss about animation just in a few more classes also inside coming classes we will discuss about animation just again and again so this is the basic of animation so this is the role once again i'm just going to explain for you we have a div here inside the body tag then i've just selected the div here the width 150 pixel and the height is also 150 pixel the background is gray border 1 pixel solid red margin 0 auto so these all things are the basic thing that we have already discussed about this so there is no problem and for the animation name you need to give a name for your animation as i told you can use your name here you can use your institute name you can use your website name so i have just given the name of this animation test and after this i have used here animation duration you need to set the time or the duration of the animation i have just set it for second you can say say one second you can say just 10 second you can say just anything so i have just set it for second and here i have just used at the red keyframes so this is the rule of using animation if you want to make enable the animation you need to use the keyframes attribute then after that you need to use the name of your animation that you are giving here for example i'm just giving here something like global so you need to use here also global same name that you are giving here you must give here also then i told on the zero percent the which should be 25 percent or you can just say 20 percent no matter here you can say just 60 percent here you can say just uh, something like 80 percent and the height you can just say uh, something like 400 pixel and the border you can say just something like 15 and the color of this should be green so you can just set all this safe and a refresh now you can see it is just working perfectly so here on the we have four seconds of time so on the first second this one will just uh, animate on the second second so this one will work on the third second this one and on the last or fourth second this one i'm just writing here a simple comment uh, you can just say here first second uh, first second okay so here i'm just going to copy this you can paste here so you can say the second 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 and here you can just say the third second and here you can say the fourth second like this so we have just given four seconds so if you are giving here a 10 second this will just calculate just 10 divide by 4 inside 4 so this will work just in in this regulation or you can say 10 will be divided on 4 for example uh, 4 you can say here inside the calculator so you can say just 10 divide it by 4 and you can just see the result so it will work just 2.5 second for each animation it will give 2.5 second for each of this animation so this is just the rule of this animation there is nothing difficult just except this one you need to know that keyframes will enable your animation this all so i hope you are understand you can just watch all the video for just better understanding and if you have any kind of question suggestion you can ask me i will just reply within 24 hours 
Thank you. Have a nice time.